Hello and welcome to the Critic Cooters. Today we're going to be reviewing slash talking about a game called Tin Can. Now this game has been published by Clabatta and developed by Tin Can Studios. And within this game it sees you take on the role of a guy trying to survive inside a space pod. This is a simulator type of game and you have to understand and learn the different mechanics um, that are required for survival in space. Now, as I said, the basic premise of this game is survival. It's also a puzzle game too. So as you go throughout your game, you have to figure out the systems and the mechanics on board the spaceship or the life pod. Now, I actually received an email from Clabatta challenging me to survive for 20 minutes within this game. Uh, unfortunately, I failed. Um, so instead of doing that, I did manage to survive for a total of 10 minutes. I'm very proud of being able to do that. This is a tough game and there's a huge amount of systems to learn. It's actually surprisingly more complex than I originally gave it credit for. I kind of jumped into this game without doing any of the tutorials and died uh, and then I tried to do it again and I accidentally opened up the hatch to space and then I died um, and this kind of repeated in a loop until I decided that hey I know what I need to do I need to actually have a look at the tutorial in this game now, there are a few different tutorial missions, each one of them kind of explaining um, how different systems within your ship works, how to break down the different systems, um, which I really quite liked. This was voice acted as well, so it made it a little bit easier to kind of follow and understand what it was I was doing. Um, there are also several different um, mission. So when you survive uh, six minutes, I believe is the first one, and then 10 minutes, every time you survive and you go to the next phase, you know, trying to survive for a longer period of time, first of all, you unlock different components and extra things to kind of make things even more complicated. But every puzzle is different. And on top of the six different puzzles or six different missions this game offers, you've also got Scenario Editor um, that you can unlock at the end too. And you've also got Sandbox Mode where the only way you can actually fail and die is by you destroying the ship yourself. So what this game actually offers right now is quite a lot of content. Now, it is very, very fiddly. It's very frustrating. I found it rather difficult um, to survive the first six minutes, let alone carry on going through. Um, but once you start understanding the different systems in place within this game, um, it does get easier and easier. And, you know, knowledge is power and all of that. This game currently does not have a release date, although I have been told that it is going to be released or at least an announcement for release should be on its way rather soon. So I'm not going to give this game a review score and give it, you know, a classic review. I'm going to wait till this game's actually been released. I'll go back into it, see if anything's been changed, anything's been tweaked and hopefully get a little bit further in this game and then give you guys a full breakdown of a review then. For now, what I can tell you is this was a really interesting game this is an indie game this is made by a small team um i have found it frustrating what i have played but at the same time i found it enjoyable i think these type of games definitely you need to be going in it you know with um an open mind understanding you do need to learn the different mechanics that this game has to offer for you to actually progress and as frustrating as it is, I think that it could be a real fun game. And this is single player. There's no online that I have seen, although it'd be quite cool to play this as a, you know, a two player, even if it was just a couch co-op. I think it'd be quite interesting to see, uh, have two people um, run and fix the systems at a time. You're going to be able to survive longer that way as well. I wish that was added into the game. It's not currently, but that is what it is. 
Now I have actually been given several keys for this game as well once it is released both on PlayStation and Xbox. So if you guys want to get your hands on this game and perhaps you don't want to spend the money for it at the moment, I do not have a price what this is going to be um, on release. But if you do want to get your hands on one of the giveaway keys, join my Discord. The link for that is down in the description. There you will find out all the details. All you have to do is be part of the Discord and of course show interest in the fact that you would like one of these keys tin can is an interesting game like i said it's not actually out for release just yet but it is on the way very very soon and the the game that i played worked very very well there was no issues no dashboarding no glitches no nothing at all this game worked completely as intended and for a game that just doesn't even have a release date right now i wasn't expecting that so i'm very glad that it did actually work now, as I said before, this game does have voice acting in it. The tutorials are all completely voice acted. So, you know, again, that's quite easier. Um, as you play through the mission and end up being able to, to survive, there is a little bit of voice acting. But mainly, my main gripe about this game is that it is a very much just you in this pod. I kind of wish that your communication back with home base, back with the survival team, um, had more lines of dialogue and they kind of, you know, had a bit more impact in your game. I would like that because otherwise it is very much just you in the pod. That's my one and only gripe. Um, the One of the things that I liked the most, however was just how complex this game happened to be. Um, it took me a while. One of the main things that you have to do is right at the beginning of the game, you have to rush, get as many components in this pod as possible because then you can break them down for components and help fix things within your ship. Well, I've been playing this game for a few hours and it was literally on the last hour of playing the game, I realized that not only could I carry one item, but I could carry two items at a time. I mean, that kind of thing is just knowledge of the game right but <laughs> but it's small things like that and small little shortcuts that will help you play this game and complete the puzzles much faster than i probably did Anyway, if you have watched to the very end of the review, a big thank you to you. Don't forget to comment Red Banana down below. Just confuse all those people that didn't watch to the very end or that are new to the channel. And don't forget, guys, I have actually released a dystopian cyberpunk. That book is called Seven Broken and Bound, and it's completely free right now on Kindle Unlimited. The link for it is down in the description. And if you want to get your hands on a free code for either PlayStation or Xbox, you're going to need to join the discord and once again that link is down in the description too so if you fancy getting your hands on it jump into the server say hi and declare your interest but until next time i've been a monk we've been a critic Ukulus, and i'll see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy and happy gaming